Hello everyone, let's do another war attack. We already have the perfect score in this war, um, but I have an attack left, so I have the opportunity to have some debate about this, about this base design. Um, we had one failure on this, on this base earlier, and we were discussing what the best unit composition would be to, to attack here. So yeah, as I said, since, we have, since I have an attack left, I can attack the same target and, and see um, if if a larger number of howitzers makes makes a makes a bitter, bigger punch, um, so we see we have a forbidden city in the space, and they're pretty far spread out. There's no point where you can hit both. Um, I think, yeah. I mean, I I, I don't want to discuss like a large um, plan of attack because I'm I'll have to follow whatever. The first guy who attacked us did to to really have a fair comparison. So what we'll do is we'll have a split attack, have the main force go for the town center, and then use our mercenaries to kill the forbidden city. As you can see, there's there are resistance buildings in the area. Um, he's German, so the foot soldiers won't be a big deal, um, but there will be tanks, and if they're heavy tanks spawn, then it may get may get our flam panzers into trouble. But I think if I if I drop them pretty far south, um, they should hit the Forbidden City before they go for the War Academy, and and that's that's really all we need. Because again, I'm not I'm not afraid of the soldiers that will come out of here. And then, unfortunately, um, our flame panels will probably die, um, and and will trigger the heavy tanks. So, um, well, that's that's what we have to deal with. The main force will come from the Alliance Gate. And uh, one thing that you see is if you come from here, you have four spaces, so you will not be able to shoot the town center from, from this row. But you, will, but you are able to shoot the town center from the Versailles and from the other side as well. Um, this side, yeah, maybe I can see that. The Versailles side, I think, I think that's, a, that's an error in the design. If it would be four spaces here, I think the base would be much harder. Um, so, and in fact, I don't, I don't mind standing in Versailles when the, when, when the main army is, is, is all there and everything is sabotaged. Um, it gives me time to heal, regroup, and Versailles slows me down, yes, but it doesn't decrease my damage. So I will still be able to hit, to hit the town center from, from the Versailles spot. So um, that's, that's a place where I would like to stand. Now, unfortunately, I can't rally there immediately. Um, and in fact, rallying into this box is, is dangerous anyway because we have these these open uh, these missing wall pieces, which means that the supply carts will immediately um, be lost if we if we drop north and then rally, say where the yeah any any anywhere inside. So what we'll do instead, we'll bring one wall breaker and go through the wall and then try to get the castle down and and rally there. Um, and then we have to work with a lot of blitz and protect and uh, blitzkrieg and sabotage and protect. And the and the army should eventually focus the town center. Um, yeah, I'm just relying on the AI here. What what could what could possibly go wrong? So question is where how should we drop exactly? Um, the the what I don't like too much about this dropping point is that it's right in the heat of the battle. I usually like to give myself a little bit more time to get all my troops down and approach the base. Um, also, this may have some difficulties to actually dropping because like, it wouldn't let me drop here, it wouldn't let me drop too far outside, so, so I hope that all my troops get out OK. Um, because it is right in the middle of the battle, I think it's, it's best to start with a protect, uh, not with a protect, with a sabotage or with a blitzkrieg. Here, there's not too many troop spawning buildings, so I think I want to start with a sabotage. And then the first thing that will hit me is this mortar. So. There are several ways to go about that. Um, either I can drop a unit with more with more health, so a general further further to the left, or I can sabotage it immediately. Um, I can I should be able to catch the mortar and the castle, or I can use my planes, and I think I'll do the I'll do the latter. Um, so I want to drop a sabotage for the tower and the castle, um, then get my troops down, well, okay, drop a sabotage here, 
Then have my planes take out this, take out this mortar. Maybe there are air defenses here. That's possible. But but if if that's like like sand batteries, if that's the case, well we'll have to we'll have to face them anyway, because um, we will have to fight off the tanks that come out here. Um, yeah, and then sabotage here. Send three fighter planes on this one. Um, get all my units out. Get the wall breaker out. Hope my units move in to kill the castle. Rally here. Well, before I rally, I would need to deploy another sabotage for the for the two sniper towers and maybe another one for this for this one. Then once we hear a blitz, would be wouldn't be too bad. Um, and then that should get me the that should get me the town center. Now by that time, I really need to make sure I don't forget to drop my mercenaries at the bottom and my decoy at the top. So yeah, let's 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 see. Um, sabotage three fighters, then one one or two generals, the wall breaker, and then my army. Have them move in. Um, as soon as that's done, I put a sabotage here, a sabotage here, rally, and then I get my I get my army down, um, my mercenaries for the Forbidden City. Um, clean up. I'm a little bit worried that, that these buildings will distract my main army um, and that we will face too, a, a bit too many heavy tanks. Um, well, we'll see. Um, I'll leave one general for, for cleanup duty at the end. But I'll drop the first two with my main army. Yep, so no pressure. The, the game's already, well, it's already perfect. We'll see. We'll see if our opponents manage to get a perfect score. They're cutting it pretty close. Um, but it's still, like, totally, totally in the realm of possible for them. We have two and a half hours left. And they have... Uh, 12 attacks for seven bases, so so anything anything is possible here. Defend obviously always helps. So we'll see. It will be interesting to watch um, the last two and a half hours of this. Okay, enjoy the enjoy the attack. We'll debrief later. Sabotage, planes, generals, army. More sabotage. And then the mercenaries. Let's go. I will get my shooters out, but come on. Oh, this is so painful. Here, here. Come on, I need this. Let's. Oh my god, this is totally unplayable. Wow. So we missed a quick victory. It's like I'll have to do something with this with this setup. It's totally impossible to do anything here. Okay. Anyway. Um,
but we still have our army um, it just wasn't able to release quickly enough So the rest is clean up. Um, still have some tactics left, but I can hardly get to them. Um, let's wait until a few more of the air defenses are down. And this heavy tank. All right. So there was a lot going on in the first minute, but um, I mean, you saw. You saw the log. I sorry, I want to stop complaining now. That's that's good enough. Um, the traps are here in this in this corridor, which is somewhat to be expected. Um, and yeah, and the air defense is also very well placed around around wherever you're wherever your tank depots are. All right, so I missed a quick victory. Um, I'll see if I can find a a way to make this game not be as laggy. And then, yeah, and then be back with more attacks. Thanks for watching.